Two parents from Dearborn accused of abusing their little girl just a few weeks old. The judge taken aback by the details of the case. The serious nature of the uh, uh, injuries inflicted on such a helpless and such a young victim really chills my bones. Just awful. It tops our news tonight at 6. First degree child abuse charges involving an infant who's thankfully still alive. Yeah, the judge setting such a high bond for these parents. The signs of the alleged abuse first spotted at a pediatrician's office in Dearborn. The child was rushed to Children's Hospital in Detroit. Victor Williams is there right now with the very latest on this case. Victor. Things got very intense in the courtroom as Amy Talvi and Martada Almiamar were both officially being charged with first degree child abuse. She, I can't stand she's all set. But let's rewind to just a few moments prior, and the Dearborn couple was individually sitting before a judge for their alleged crimes against their own infant child. The victim in this case, as I understand, is 52 days old. Back on September the 29th, the one-month-old baby was taken to a local pediatrician's office with multiple bruises on her head, neck, and stomach. Some of those bruises seemed to even show signs of strangulation. Thankfully, someone from the office was able to contact the police. From there, the child was transported to Children's Hospital where they determined the child was being physically abused. Both parents in their early 30s were taken into custody shortly afterwards. You are being charged with child abuse in the first degree. This is a felony. Talby was given a bond of $100,000 cash, no 10% with the GPS tether, and that's when the meltdown started. That bond is not going to be $20,000 cash or surety bond. It's going to be $100,000 cash or surety bond, no 10%. Thank you. She's all safe. She had to be escorted out. Almiamar, however, was very quiet as he was hit with an additional charge of habitual offender second offense. Because of that, he was given a bond of $250,000 cash with a GPS tether as well. Mark convicted of this charge, this carries uh, sanctions of life or any uh, term of years. And we do apologize. We had some technical difficulties, but this child is recovering. And last we heard, that child is going to be making a recovery, thankfully, right here at the hospital. The next preliminary uh, hearing is set for October the 21st. Victor Williams, Local 4. 52 days old. All right, thank you, Victor.